Leonardo AI gave me early access to what is probably the best tool I've seen yet for character consistency. I'm going to show you how to get the most out of their new character reference tool, then we're going to go to Midjourney and compare their character reference tool with Leonardo AI. If you've never used Leonardo AI before, go to leonardo.ai. Let's get started. Leonardo AI's character reference feature currently works best with the human face as input. The settings I have on are pretty optimal, though it will work with other settings. On the left side panel, I have PhotoReal V2 and an XL model. This is typically what will work best right now. Alchemy mode is on. In my case, I have a 16 by nine image. And we are going to go to image guidance and drag in an image of a face we want to base our character on. Under type, we have a few options. And for now, we're just gonna select character reference. To start, we'll set the strength on high. This section here, you have a drop down which lets you choose an aesthetic for the image. If you choose something like cinematic, it's gonna look more like a movie and a portrait's gonna look more like photography. So this is just really a personal preference here. With your character reference on high strength, your prompts can actually be extremely simple. I'm just giving a simple cue on age, race, gender, and then describing a clothing item and it knows what to do. One great use case for this, whether you're making a film, advertisement, music video, or anything else, is you can reliably put your character in different outfits. You can also put them in different settings. And if you're telling a story, you can describe a facial expression for your scene and get that facial expression in your output. Now we'll compare it to Midjourney using Discord, where it works a little bit different than Leonardo AI. In Midjourney, you're gonna drag and drop in the image that you're basing your character on and enter a prompt and type dash dash CREF followed by a link to the image. You get this link by clicking the image, right clicking again and copying the image address. So after CREF, put in a space and paste that link in. And now you can use simple prompts just as you would with Leonardo AI. Now, one important note on Midjourney though, is that the character reference weight defaults at 100 and it'll partially ignore your prompt to match the outfits and anything else in that image when it's at 100. It's trying to match it almost one to one. So you want to enter in dash dash CW for character weight and followed by a number lower than 100. And this eases up the setting and allows you to do things like different outfits on that character, but keep their same face. Next, we're going to merge a character and a visual style together. But before we get into that, I want to show you how you can further improve your other AI video skills. So you want to make films? Yeah, AI movies. It's showbiz. You're going to learn from the whiz, the real robot. Hey, it's the real robot. I'm going to show you a thing or two yeah it's the real robot making movie dreams come true you're gonna learn mid-journey and runway and how to use Pika Labs mm, the fun way and sound design and neat techniques you're gonna wanna plant a kiss upon my cheeks now we're going to combine a style reference with a character reference and this will bring our character into a different aesthetic so in the second image slot here in Leonardo AI, I have dropped in a woman with glowing eyes and markings on her face, and I'm gonna set the type to style reference. And this will keep the same character and add the style traits of the other image. 
You can play with your strength settings to have the style affect the image at different amounts or blend more with the characters so that the two of them are much more combined. One pro tip is if you change the image to a fashion shot, it'll often use this style on the background and clothing and integrate it in a different way. With Midjourney, you can also use a style reference with a character reference. We can just drop the style image in, take our previous prompt, and add a parameter for dash dash sref, followed by a link to the style image. Now the style reference will also default to 100. So you want to type in dash dash SW for style weight, just like you do with character weight until your blend is right. Just keep modifying that number until it gets to a place you like it. Sometimes mid journey perform is better when you remove a character reference and put your link to the character image at the start of your prompt and type dash dash IW for image weight, and then choose a number between 1.5 and two.